give us a rest. wagon. off the road at high speed. Doesn't bode well. Yeah, merchant traveling across Velen alone. No way that was gonna end well. Cuts of meat, cataplepus. Wonder what spell requires that. A dry red from Zubaran, southern slope. Notes of black currant and citrus. Ah, uh, that still intact. Don't sense anything magic though. Wonder how Kirill explained this one. Human, from an artery. Can't be far. 
wouldn't have made it. Fight a witcher. Come on. Just when I was starting to miss you. Got those, uh, substances you wanted. Splendid. I can finally begin my study of double arboreal racination patterns. But first, I'll... Bring yourself a mug of mulled wine. Saw what the wagon was carrying. Exquisite meats, expensive wines, Zeracanian spices. Not a speck of magic. Care to tell me what you're up to? I would rather show you, but you must wait a bit. Color me intrigued. Fine, I'll wait. <laughs> then shoo, outside. Gonna slip into something more comfortable? Later. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, go on, out. You've been patient, thank you. It's almost ready. Huh? If I wanted to see white mice, I'd just get drunk. Note that I said almost. Now don't interrupt. The cane within Kaple. Third mouse. What happened to it? The spell has a 66.67% chance of success. I always use one more than I need. 
just in case. So where did... Kira, can I explain what's going on here? Know the fairy tale about Cinderella? Mm-hmm. True story it's based on, too. A zoogle cropped up in a palace pond and ate Princess Cinderella whole. Left behind one slipper, so... I beg you, not another word about zoogles. Now, to return to the fairy tale, I'd like to escape these ghastly swamps for one magical night. I don't need a fairy godmother. I'll cast the spells myself. But I could use a Prince Charming. It just so happens you're the only decent candidate in all Velen. So, what do you say to a moonlight ride on horseback? And dinner? Sounds tempting. So tempting, I don't think I can refuse. Before we go, there's one more thing. Gonna transform a pumpkin into a carriage? No. I shall transform our rancid rags into something more glamorous. Don't wince. It'll only be an illusion, won't hurt a bit. And at dawn, everything will return to normal. Why not? Might as well go all out. Then hold on tight. Gvela Glan. So, what do you think? Neckline too modest? It's just right. Oh, I might also have changed your hair colour while I was at it. I've always fancied dark-haired men. Oh well, any port in a storm. Well, off we go. Dinner's waiting. Last one there does the dishes. Let's go! Hey there. Cinderella, we'll have a great fall. <laughs> as fast as you can, try to catch me. Congratulations. You'd make an excellent jockey. If only I were a foot shorter and five stone lighter. Well, yes. But then I'd not have invited you here. Now do you see why I needed those substances? Could have just told me what this was about right now. <laughs> Geralt, run to the woods and fetch my shopping. I'd like to make dinner. Well, would you have helped? If I'd known I'd get a glass of Zubaran dry in return, of course. Well, well, never took you for a wine connoisseur. Think witchers suck the marrow out of drowner bones and wash it down with puddle water? More or less. Well, we've chatted long enough on empty stomachs. Let's dig in. Must have cost you a small fortune. Sure you don't need me to pitch in? Please, I manage. You know, a dozen eggs here, a cock or gander there. Besides, my finances are about to improve. How, if you don't mind my asking? I mean, you'd think the only work to be had in Velen would be in farming. <laughs> Very true. So, I've two options. I can either start cultivating turnips or... leave. But that's not what I wish to discuss. Thank you once again, Geralt, for your help with the tower. You were fabulous. Not the first curse I've lifted. But among the most difficult, correct? What happened on that island? Why I shiver at the thought. And the laboratory. I sincerely hope you burnt everything. The cages, the corpses, the papers. Mm. 
didn't destroy that workshop if that's what you're asking. Didn't see any reason to. If Alexander's findings were to fall into the wrong hands. Although, Fike Isle has a terrible reputation. None even dare go there. Perhaps there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> I'm sorry. Such a gloomy subject to broach. I simply shouldn't have, not during our romantic dinner. Romantic? Thought we came here as friends. Friends. With benefits. So? Your fairy tale, your rules. Really? Then close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four. All right, that's enough. Kira, wanna play hide and seek? Why not? Good. Won't have to fumble with fasteners. Hmm, shame. Could have kept her shoes on. Do I get a prize? I have nothing on me, but I'll think of something. <laughs> know what they call that constellation in Zeracania? Dragon something, I bet. <laughs> no, it has a different name. A bit indecent, actually. Lean closer and I'll whisper it in your ear. Ekvain Navi. Kira, where? Put me to sleep with a spell. Means she's up to something. Ah, Fike Isle, the tower.
So, found what you were looking for? Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? What do you want with those papers? Why, I aim to use them to continue important work that a man's tragic death put on hold. Alexander was studying the Catriona Plague. I'll use his notes to produce medication, perhaps a cure, or at least a vaccine. Mm -hmm. Strictly humanitarian motivations, is that it? No, nope, strictly selfish ones. The mighty would pay willingly for such a remedy. Can you imagine how much? Take Radovid, for instance. Why, he might even consider forgetting my past associations with the Lodge. Radovid doesn't forget, and Radovid doesn't forgive, especially when it comes to sorceresses. He'll make an exception for me. He'll have to. I have something he wants. Please, you don't believe that. Well, you believe Yennefer will stop treating you like a dog someday. Don't see me laughing. I'm going to see Radovid. Tell him of this research, whether you like it or not. This is suicide, Kira. You'll wind up tied to a stake, burned to bolster the morals of the masses while entertaining them. Shut up for a moment and look at me. See this? Bedbugs, Geralt. Bloody bedbugs. I, Kira Metz, advisor to Foltest, a member of the Lodge of Sorceresses, have bedbugs. Think what you will, but I'll not stay in this bloody swamp one day more. Not one day. I shall cross the Pontar, and that means Radovid's men will find me sooner or later. Don't you understand? I don't have a choice. I will have to parley. Got another option. Go to Kaer Morhen. You believe I'd be safe there? As long as you don't piss Lambert off, yes. Amir, Radovid, neither will be able to reach you. Find little in the way of luxury there, but we do have clean sheets. It's a long way, well beyond the dividing line. But if I keep to the woods until I reach the Kestrel Mountains, I should pass through unnoticed. So be it. Seems I find it hard to refuse you, handsome. You've clearly a notion of what women want, how they think. So, see you at Karamoran? Beds free of bedbugs, mostly. <laughs> I long to be there already. See you, Geralt. Be back. Give us a rest. I'll be back. 
be back. will say by what they're Harry. Greetings. Just in time. Good folk, behold the one who will protect us. You needn't fear. Soon shall we summon the wandering souls. Beyond all help some will be. From these you must protect us. Evil creatures keep at bay. Keep at bay till the ritual's done. Begin. Keep us from harm, and let them not disturb the circle. What is this life? Well, you know. What comes next once life subsides? Mind is all fate decides. Soon will rise thy dead, thy buried. Each will say by what they're hurried. Will ye grant these souls reprieve? We'll Storm prepare to end their grief. Let's begin for Father's Eve. Ye who wander on the gale, ever caught in this world's thrall, <laughs> see this sign, gentle pale. <laughs> Hark, a sound I hear. Tis right, a spirit breaks the still of night. Burn the incense ever higher. Spirit, join us round the fire. Spirit, speak. This time is yours. Tell us of your ghostly woes. Should I drive him away? Nice. I've come for you, Patricide. Be gone, foul force! I cast upon you the light of the eternal fire! Abomination! Stop this at once! The errant souls! We must help them! Silence! I'll not tolerate necromancy! Help me! Leave now. You're disrupting the ritual. This is black magic. These folk disturb the dead. We cannot allow it. We will not. You don't know a thing about their customs. Take it and disperse the others. Good folk, leave not these grounds. Ye cannot break the circle. Tis an ill turn, ill. Woe are we. Blood has stained the hallowed ground. Yet we cannot stop what has begun. If you want to continue, I'm ready. Good folk, we must the eve complete. Prepare yourselves. Ye we summon. Ye we call, enter souls, we'll judge ye all. All is quiet, all is moon, what be Something whispers, something peeps, someone near our fire creeps. All is quiet, all is moon, what be in the darkest moon. Wraiths! This sacred ground is with blood stained. We cannot the ritual complete. People, save yourselves! If your lives you value, run! This is hallowed ground! Be gone, away 
with you! This is hollow ground! Give us a rest! Alas, all is lost. Hmm, gotta be a peasant who told the witch hunters about the ritual. That spirit they drove away. Your father's ghost, right? Threatened to come back, likely to keep his word. Old man Ambros, the pillar fears not. That wraith called you a patricide. He get it right? Aye. If I'm gonna help you, I gotta know everything. Why'd you kill your father? The Pella does not wish to speak of this. You can't hope to manage this alone. You're afraid, that's clear. Wraith will hold sway over you. Listen, I'll send him off. I've got to. But I need to know where he's buried. Corpse probably hasn't turned to dust yet. That's his bond to the world of the living. Ambrose lies in the swamp. Fine. I'll find his body, see what I can do. It's clearing up. That's it, Roach. Not so fast, Roach.
shape. Hmm. Even where the Peller smashed his head in. Gotta incinerate it. That ought to get the Spectre to leave. Leave the world of the living. Never return again. your life. Careful, sir. A monster prowls the bog. Enter the mist and you'll never see home again. This monster, tell me more. Only seen it once myself. And that from afar and past dusk. Thought it were a man at first. Then it turned and I saw eyes burning like coals and a jaw full of fangs one next to the other. Humanoid? Nocturnal? Hmm. First attack. Remember when it happened? A week passed, near about. It was then Boren vanished. Merrick and Tommil went looking for him, didn't come back either, them two. I were feared. Now none dare venture into the bog. Camp stands deserted, and the peat there... Master, it's the best sort. Black as pitch and oily. Good for fuel... Fascinating, but staying with the topic at hand. I can help. For a fee. Course! Why, even an ox don't pull a plow for free. Afraid I'll need more than an ox needs. How much are you willing to pay, exactly? That I simply do not have. Would a few crowns less satisfy you? That I simply do not have. Would a few crowns less satisfy you? That I simply do not... That I simply... Oh, master, you value your services, dear. But so be it. I'll agree to that. All right, time I got to work. Where'll I find this monster? Start south of here. But beware, bad poxy air hangs o'er the marsh. Stings your eyes, claws at your throat. Claws so hard you could choke.
solution. with magic. This is getting interesting. Different claw marks. Guess a few individuals feed here.
Any tidings? Monster's dead. Fog's dispersed. Ha! Village folk will be content. Give him cause to celebrate. Well, you've earned your reward. Take it and fare you well. Hang on a minute. This is less than we agreed. Master Witcher, that beast, it kept me from gathering peat. And I'd still my family to feed. But a few crowns left now, and I've yet to buy new tools. Show some mercy. I'll pay ye. I will. Pay ye twice the fee. But in a week's time, once I've made up some of my losses. Fine. So be it. But you remember that I'll remember. You won't get out of paying this. Thank you, Witcher. Thank you kindly, my lord. My little bless ye. May ye be fruitful and... Get to work. You've only got a week. Slower. Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked them bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three. The one to fetch the kindlings? Me! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassie's here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tits. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lassies in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. She was here. I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. Just talking to the kids. Asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, it was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. You're betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter and her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. A bit of help, please. A young, ashen-haired woman. Just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, because I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone.
can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and stranger still, kids. Just got one question for you. Don't be asking no questions. You're a stranger. Not allowed to talk to strangers. Can we eat now? Suit with scratchings. You here? Says he's afraid of you. Stop scaring my kids. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you gotta do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. One, two, three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> 